That's funny. <laughs> we are back in the kitchen with Chef Matthew, and when he's here, it is a ball. She's <laughs> funny. She's making me laugh. Well, you make us laugh because oh, you bring so much love you. and passion to cooking. You know, I don't know if you heard her in the first segment. He's just 21, so you've been cooking literally your whole life. Yes. Because your first recipe, you were, what, six or seven? Yes. I was just telling you, I, I remember very distinctly waking up one morning. I would get up super early and watch, like, Looney Tunes or, mm -hmm. or SpongeBob, whatever it was on. And I took a big bottle of mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and made this like horrible secret sauce. <laughs> so mom and Alex, my sister and my mom wake up and I'm like, breakfast is ready. I love it. And it's just like but ketchup not, and But mayonnaise. nonetheless, it was that passion yes. that was sparked yes. in you to get in there and even try to right. come up with your own creation. And I thought it was, a, back then I'm like, I'm like Gordon Ramsay. Absolutely. I did not that I knew who that was back in the day, but. But now you kind of, are, for real, almost, for real. Well, yeah, we're going to get, we're going to get to a really big uh, event coming up for you but right yes. now I want to get going with this recipe because people love your recipes here yes, you are taking um, spring veggies and turning them really transforming them in a lot of ways yes into entrees and kind of my theme today is we have all these beautiful stone fruit coming back into season in the first segment I use the peaches mm -hmm. in this one I'm using dried apricots Beautiful. and applying them to savory applications. That sweet with the salty mm -hmm. and the creamy from the goat cheese is just a wonderful combination. So this is the apricot. That, These are the dried apricots. I just pulled uh, about a pound of Brussels that I halved and took the stem off uh, from the oven. I used coconut oil, so super, super healthy. It has a wonderful smoke point, so you get this wonderful char. So why is it, yeah, I was about to say, why is it dark like that? Because we typically see them Right, orange. just because uh, when you take all of the moisture out, uh, the, the sugar's constantly and trade and they caramelize so they and caramelize. when okay. sugar caramelizes it, it gets darker. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. So to this, these Brussels are actually only about 50% of the way done. So I'm adding a little bit of ginger and sliced shallot to this, which is really going to perfume and make this aromatic. Oh, yeah, the smell is amazing. And I love fresh ginger. It's amazing. And so also, Miss Susan, what I'm going to add is going. Yes, stop! It's, it's like it's like a it's like a habit force a habit. I'm like, all right, Susan, you're so there you polite. go. You're just a doll, baby. I mean, Thank you're just you. so Thank polite, you. and that that's that goes a long way. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. So, I was telling you earlier, these are creamy and dreamy, and okay. I love creamy, dreamy, like especially mm -hmm. with like mac and cheese. But in this application today, it's actually super healthy. I'm just going to dab fresh goat cheese on top of this. Mm -hmm. This is going to go back into the oven for a couple of minutes until the cheese melts, the shallots roast. When they come out of the oven, what I'm going to do is add them to the bowl. So let's just let's just pretend I'm we're going to gonna, we're going to we're going to through the magic of TV. These <laughs> are actually cooked. For you. So the, now the Brussels sprouts, you just did them raw. You just yes. cut them raw then. Cut them raw, a little okay. bit of salt and pepper, coconut oil just to bind them. So you don't cook ahead of time. Right. Okay. And then you just mix it up. And then all we're going to mix this up with a little bit of agave nectar to really string out that, uh, that sweetness and just a touch of red wine vinegar. Mm, and I have to, I told you, I, when I was a child, I hid my Brussels sprouts right. in any place I possibly could to right, keep right, from right. eating them. But these and, are just so fantastic. Yeah, but as an adult, I have acquired a, a, a taste it is. for them. It is. They, it, I think what deters a lot of kids is the bitterness. Yeah. But uh, that's really so a So what is your profile. secret for taking the bitterness out of the Brussels? You actually want to char them. Okay. Uh, it's almost like uh, when you roast cauliflower and it gets that char on it, it tastes like marshmallow. Like a little bit of Great char secret. on this, I, I, even though that's kind of crazy, you're like, let's make this more bitter. It, it makes it more delicious. So it does the opposite. You just got to trust me, I promise. It does the opposite. Yes. All right, so we want to congratulate Chef Matthew. Those of you who've kind of seen him grow up, really, I, I say grow up. You've been here. Yeah, like they're here. Well, I know I look like I'm 16. It's fine. It's, it's okay. A baby You've face working with it. You've grow up on, uh, really, on television here. You have a big, big, big week ahead of you. Yes. You, the Food Network. Tell us about oh, this wonderful goodness. experience. So back in December, I was invited to film an episode of Cutthroat Kitchen with Alton Brown. And mm -hmm. what you're seeing is, what you just saw was uh, the clip from the show. I'm so excited. It airs this Sunday, 9, 10 Central. Yes. I was keeping our fingers crossed yes, because yes, we yes. could not ask him and he cannot tell us whether he won. But we're going to keep our fingers and toes crossed because yes. something tells me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any, any <laughs> right. producer gods. But just your energy on our show, I can imagine you must have been one of the favorites. Oh, my gosh. It was a blast. It was, And you know what the coolest thing was is the whole production crew was like people my age. Mm -hmm. And so we were all joking when the cameras weren't rolling. Alton Brown was like cracking jokes. He, and he's exactly how he I is love it. off camera. 
on camera. Like he's well, the same so, person. And so is Chef Matthew. As I'm a whole different I, person. No, I'm at no. Is on Stop. camera. You are the same Thank off you. camera. My friend, we are wishing you much you're success. I know you're, you're going to do one more. You're going to do one more recipe yes. for us. And what is it? A charbroiled ribeye with a pomegranate molasses. I, it's just. We love him. We love him, Terry.